Here's the slingshot. Hello, Brian. Yeah, in today's video, we'll try to get the chicken. Oh, folks, there's one chicken there. We're gonna try to get him with a slingshot. Right there. Oh, oh yes. we got him, we got one, folks. <laughs> Brian's gonna give her a try. That's partridges. Ptarmigans, we call them. One there, two there. Brian's trying to get him with the slingshot. He's just like a, sh he's as good as I am. <laughs> It was very hard. That's how I had it, Brian. <laughs> All right, we'll try to get him. Brian's trying to shoot the chicken with the slingshot. Oh, we got him! We got one, folks! We got one! We got one! Whoa, we got one, folks. We're gonna eat good now. Two more right there. My cousin Brian on the slingshot. <laughs> yeah, we got one. That's a ptarmigan. There's one. We got one chicken on the ground, folks. Ptarmigan. We'll cook them up. Good shot, Brian. Yeah, Brian's. Brian got one. I'm very jealous. There's two sitting there on the floor. All right, folks, uh, in today's video, how to uh, shoot wild chicken with slingshot and prepare it and skin it and cook it. Uh, bro, me and Brian, we've seen some ptarmigans. Uh, I was shooting at some and I almost got one, but Brian's the winner today. He got one. He got one for our video. So right there, look at that, ptarmigan. We're going. You, um, I'll teach you how to skin it, and we'll. It'll be an education video. Another one. So, um, when you skin your chicken, you gotta, you gotta pluck it right away, cause you want to keep the the skin on the chicken for flavor. The old people they don't like. Uh, they like the. The you get the wings plucked into the first joint here, and then you just. The old people, they have a, like a motion like this. See like the, see the skin? It's a little bit cold already. It's October 27 today. We got a chicken for lunch. Well, you, you pluck it, you pluck it uh, so, so see that close? Oh, the skin's coming off. That's why you pluck it right away. You try to keep the skin on. As soon as you you get it, you you um. 
I'm gonna try to do this fast so you keep the if it's ripping you go upwards to where it's ripping yeah still warm yeah. right after you shoot it's good to the tail part get get this off Yeah, how to shoot wild chicken and prepare it and cook it. See, it's kind of warm, it's coming up. You want to keep the chicken on the, the skin on the chicken for flavor. I took off his head, that's where I twisted it around. Okay. Look at the view in the back, folks. I might, uh, water went down, looks like the water's up a bit. Be good to go out to Moose Camp. Maybe one more time I'll go out to Moose Camp. So we gotta check the depth of the water, see if it's, uh, we can go. Busy work weeks also. Get this skinned up real quick. Five minutes and we'll cook it for lunch. Yeah, the key, the first thing is to, to um, pluck it. As soon as you kill it, you pluck it. So you wanna, so the skin don't tear. When it's cold, the skin uh, tears. And you wanna keep the skin on for flavor. Yeah, you pluck it right to the joints. So you, that's where you're going to cut it at the joints. I like doing that part good. When you when you pluck your chicken, it should look really good, um, nice. Yeah, up to the joints. Every little feather. It's okay if a little, a little, uh, if it breaks a little, it's okay. You keep doing it, you'll just get better and better. When you, when you, um, when you get your chicken and it's still alive, you twist his neck. So, uh, it'll be a fast kill and you don't want him to, uh, you don't want them to suffer, so you you um, you do a quick kill. Let that be educational. Yeah. You can also have chicken for Thanksgiving. <laughs> have a bunch of them. Thanksgiving. Okay, there's our chicken, folks. You see it, Brian? You got a nice, to, right here's the joint. So we'll cut it at the joints here and here. And uh, right here, we'll pluck it to the, to the joint there. And now we'll gut it, come over here, right here. Come on this side, Brian, look at this way. We're gonna gut it right in here, folks. Gonna put on some gloves so I don't I have to wash my hands. So you wanna, right here it'll be easy. You just, you break it in here and then you make axis, then you grab it with your hands. You'll, you'll feel it right there and then you just rip out the guts. And um, we'll put it here for the birds. The birds will eat it, the, the crows and magpies. I've seen a couple of whiskey jacks. And you'll feel the heart in there. There's a heart in there. Yeah. And uh, yeah. And look. Yep. 
And I want to tell you a story one time. Me and my dad at uh, down at the corner here, they call it box station. My dad said when you shoot a chicken right away, you run to it as when it's still still um, warm. In you, when you first kill it, you you got it. You take out his heart and you eat his heart while it's beating. And then when you're in a bush, uh, you won't be scared. He said this is our traditional way. He told me, and then I did that over here one time, and uh, I shot a chicken, and as soon as I killed it, uh, I, I got it fast, and uh, I opened it, his heart was beating, and I swallowed it. You could feel the heart going down. And then, uh, you when you're in a, this way, when you're in a bush by yourself, you won't be scared in the bush. And there's another thing, if you find a bear den, and you uh, big enough, and it's safe to go in, you go in there, and you, Go in the bear den, and then you stay in there for a, bit, a little bit. Then you come out, and you won't be scared in the bush. Um, these are the traditional words from my dad and other people. But uh, we'll get back to our our um, how to shoot a chicken with a slingshot, wild chicken, and and um, prepare it and cook it. We got it skinned up. Now we'll cut it up and fry it in the pan for lunch. All right, hope this video is educational. Continuing on. And look at the view. Yeah. All right, folks, continuing on. The next step will be uh, preparing it for the, 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 the pan. We'll get it cut up. I'll show you how to cut it. I'll first show you how to cut it when you're gonna cook it on the fire. And, uh, and then, we'll, then we'll cut it to uh, cook it in the pan. So here is our chicken, folks, look. First we'll take off the wings. We'll cut it here. Then the joint. We'll cut the joint off here. Then we'll put our wings in there. Then same side to this side. Look real close, Brian. Here's the joint. We'll cut the joint here. And you just twist it. See right there? And then right here is the the other joint here, and we'll use the whole chicken so nothing gets. You 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 cook your chicken like this so you don't you don't waste one bit of meat. And this tail, you could cut this tail off here. Little bush seeds. So if you are in a bush, you'll you want to cut it uh, like uh, on the side here. His ribs down here. Down here, then you'll just wanna you'll you'll cut it this way, and his bone is over here, breastbone. You work, try to work your way over here. There'll be a joint here. See right there. Yeah. It will feel around for the joint right there. It's a joint up here. See right there, so we'll open it up. So we'll break that. You break his backbone so his legs are flat, like that. Then you do the same for this side. The joint over here. His ribs here, are right here, you leave his heart in for flavor. And you always eat the heart. Then you break that, see? There'll be one right there. See, you cut it there. Now you have it there, then you, you cut it over here. Like this. Then now you'll you'll uh, you'll stick it on a stick like this for the fire. Then you'll cook it on the side of the fire like that. And then you could turn it around and cook it this way too. You'll cook it on the side of the fire on a stick like that. Yeah. Now we'll cut it for the pan. So we'll cut it right there. And here's his breastbone. You can, you can uh, cook it like that in the oven, or else you can take the breastbone off like this and cook it like that too. See, well, see right there's the meat, and we're right here. You can uh, also cut lines in it. Uh, so we'll cook in the middle, and yeah, we could cook that like that too. 
And then here's his legs. You want to take his legs off? You'll cut his legs off here. Right there's one. Then you just you get to snap his joints, and then uh, you get it, and you could cut his neck off a little shorter, and take this little bit of uh, feathers off. And you could uh, cut his arm, uh, his friend, uh, friend arms off too. Also, you can also cook it like that. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. We can, you could fry it up like that, like that, or else you can also, um, you can also take off his arm, um, wings. We'll take off his wings. Right there's one, and then we'll take off the other one. Yeah. There's the other one. Look at the meat. Look at the meat, folks. His friend arm. Right there will be his arms. Here's his um, his uh, breastbone. So right there will be your plate. See that? Here's our here's our wastage from our our duck. Some feathers and his neck. <laughs> That's our waist and his guts um, and his feet. Look, you could have a, you can make this for the, the kid. Um, you dry it out like that, put it on a stick. We'll do that. We'll keep one of this. I think we'll do that. All right, there's our, there's our chicken folks, ready for our pan. Um, we'll put some grease in our pan, we'll cook it, and we'll eat it. All right, continuing on. Off to the, off to the stove. All right, folks, welcome back. We got our chicken with a slingshot, thanks to my cousin Brian. We're here, um, we're, we skinned it up now, and we're going to cook it. Let's check it out, folks. Continuing on. We got our pan there. We'll turn it on, high heat. And we got some bacon in there. Yeah. Yeah. Tori's helping me. We'll get some bacon. We'll get we'll steal some. We'll steal we'll steal some bacon grease for flavor. We'll throw that in. And we'll shut off our bacon is done. That's not for me. All right, yeah, we got some in there. We'll add some more. Yeah, okay. One second. Okay, we'll add some oil so we have enough. Just enough to coat the, for the, so it won't burn the chicken. Okay, folks, here's our chicken. We shot it yesterday. It was in the fridge overnight. Ready to go. Look at the texture. Nice. All right. We'll get it in there. All the chicken. This one's broken, so flat. There, look at that. Or it's a ptarmigan, this kind. They're turning white now. Whoa, look at that meat, the breast, one side breastbone. Yeah, we'll get our chicken cooked up, folks. We'll see how long it takes to cook. All right, we're cooking the chicken now, the ptarmigan. And uh, you, I think some people call it partridge also. All right, oh, it's starting to sizzle. Continuing on. Okay, folks, it's been five minutes. Let's have a look. Right there, it's coming along. Look at that wild chicken. Nice. There it is. Wild chicken. Coming along. Bacon's done. Cider. Sizzling. 
Five minutes. All right, folks, it's been 10 minutes. Our chicken is done. Look at the texture. Look at our skin on there. Crunchy flavor. Breast bone, right? Breast. And here's our other breast on there. Or um, backbone. Our, our, uh, our chicken. Get it all out. Throw it out. Chicken, chicken, chicken. All right, we'll get our plate over here. I'll show you it. Right there, folks. Look at that. Our chicken. Well, try it out, see how it is. It'll be very delicious. Okay, the meal is done. Our our partridge uh, wild chicken and ptarmigan uh, nether word. There it is, folks. Look at that. Gonna be delicious. Let's try a bite. We'll go for the breasts first. Yep. We'll get some salt on there. Pepper. Salt's not good for you. Yeah, we'll try one with the skin. Right there, folks, look. There's that skin on there. The meat texture. Let's try it, see how it tastes. Mmm. It's good. It doesn't really have that wild um, like some um, animals have it wild game taste tastes good a little bacon for the taste buds and yeah, we tried one breast now we'll try the the leg look at that partridge <clears throat> ptarmigan wild chicken how to shoot um, prepare your chicken and cook it yeah nice oh yeah oh this too uh, educational look there's like in a leg is like a little needle um, kids could choke on this or anybody could it go comes right on the leg there and with same as rabbit they used to use this on a rabbit. They used to use that for a needle. Uh, my dad told me, uh, you, "You look at look this kind. You take out um, kid can choke on it." He said, "From a rabbit. Rabbit is bigger. This one's a little smaller. It's like a needle, hard needle bone. Yeah, on your chicken and on your rabbit. Yeah, continuing on. Look at that. Hmm." Yeah, we tried that. We tried the breast. I'll finish it up. Let's try the heart. We'll take a, a, a we'll cut some of the heart. Right there's the heart, folks. Look at that. Chicken heart. Get some salt on there. Mmm, it's good. Just like it got its own salt. Yeah, now we'll, we'll try the backbone. We'll get a piece of meat off of there. Right there is that. Some skin for flavor and a little bit of meat there. Let's try it. Mmm, good. Got bone flavor. Yeah, we tried that one. Now the last part is the the front leg, the front, the wings, the the arm, right there. We'll try a piece with some bacon. Right there, folks. There it is. Nice, very delicious. Get some salt on it. Mmm. 
Mmm, it's good. That's got flavor too. The front arm is uh, got lots of flavor. I taste it. Mmm, bacon. Bacon's always good. There's the meal again, folks. Very good. I'm gonna eat the whole chicken. Yeah, um, yeah, thank, thanks to my cousin Brian. We used to hunt rabbits and chickens long ago. He was a good shot then and he's still a good shot now. Yeah, thanks to Brian, we got our, our ptarmigan um, wild chicken. Yeah, um, uh, as long as uh, this is educational, it's a win. All right, thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, just being myself and create content that people like to see. Bye for now. Hit that like button. S smash it. Bye. Oh, it's very good. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Must it toe? Oh, we got him! We got one, folks! We got one! We got him!